Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson, We're looking at the Simpsons rule. If you haven't looked at the lesson on the trapezoidal rule, can you please go and do that now? Um, that's pretty crucial to understanding, I guess, this rule. Um, look, I'm not going to go through how to get to the Simpsons rule. I will show you very briefly what it does and what allow it, what it is and sorry, and what it allows you to do. Um, like last time, I'm going to look at the graph of f of x is equal to x squared. Now, we said last time the trapezoidal rule allowed you to find the area underneath a curve between two particular points. We used one and three. Um, and it, we formed a trapezium or a number of trapeziums and we found the area of those trapeziums to estimate the area underneath the curve. Well, the Simpson rule does the same thing pretty much, but instead of breaking it into um, trapeziums, what it does, it breaks it into rectangles. Okay, and the more rectangles you have, then the more accurate it's going to be. You can have, like we had one trapezium, two trapeziums, we can have one rectangle, two rectangles, or one sub interval, two sub intervals, etc. Um, the For our purposes, everything else, well, the first two steps are exactly the same. Um, we first step is to find the h value. We do that by doing our b minus a over n. Second of all, we find the function tables or function values. I'll put here via the table. And then the third step, which will be the only different step, I guess, um, is apply the rule. Okay, so apply the rule. Um, now the rule is slightly different. That's one thing that is different, I guess. We start off by doing the same thing, so b a, um, therefore integral sign, f of x dx. Instead of being h over 2, the rule says h over 3. Function of the first plus function of the last, just like we had for the trap rule. But this time, it's 4 times the function of the odds plus 2 times the function of the evens. So last time we just had two times the middle numbers. This time we actually split those middle numbers up into odds and evens. Yes, I know it sounds confusing. Trust me, it's not. Okay. Um, we're going to look at something quite simple. We'll look at, um, we'll do 7 and 1. Um, and we'll use it as x squared dx. Um, and we'll look at, maybe six sub-intervals. So quite a few sub-intervals. Okay, that just gets, allows us to see how the rule works a bit nicer. Okay, so the rule states we need to find, first of all, h, as we did before. Um, seven minus one divided by six equals one. h of one, we're gonna have seven function values that means because I've got six rectangles okay or six six uh, sub intervals so we're going to have um, starts at one goes to seven one two three four five six and seven and we're doing so this is nothing different to what you did for the trapezoidal rule everything else is the same you know put my table in now do it in the rule one squared is one two squared is four nine 16, 25, 36, and 49. And the only difference, as I said, will be applying it to the different rule. So h is 1, so h over 3 this time, plus function of the first, plus function of the last, just like we did with the trap rule. But this is where it goes a bit different. Four times the functions of the evens. Now, you'll notice that when we did the rule originally, we you know when I say the function of the first and last, I used f0 plus fn and that's because often we use function or y um, you know you call it f0 f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 or f6 or y0 y1 y2 etc where we've used these two already okay now we've got the odds one three and five because they're odd numbers. Okay, that's where it comes from. So we've got four plus sixteen plus thirty-six 
and then our even numbers hopefully you can see that we've got two and four are our even numbers so that means we've got nine plus 25 or basically the ones that you haven't used yet and then it's a simple matter now of typing that into your calculator now I've done that correctly it should be 114 units squared see that wasn't very easy was it should I say that wasn't very hard was it <laughs> it was very easy okay so let's have a look now at another ex example now this is almost identical to that last question almost so you can pause it have a go at it and then see how you get along okay let's check if you see if, if you got it right first of all find h6 minus 1 which is b minus a I'm going to divide it by five sub intervals so five which equals a height of one make sure it's sub intervals and not function values they're different things okay table of values so five sub intervals will give us six different values so we're going from one to six one two three four five and six and you can see that this is again all exactly the same as when we were using the trapezoidal rule so one squared is one times two is two two squared is four four twos are eight two squared is nine nine twos are eighteen thirty two 50 and 72 okay so let's apply it to the rule now approximately equal to h over 3 the first plus the last plus 4 times the odds those two 8 plus 32 plus 2 times the evens 18 and 50 and now put into your calculator. See, not very hard at all. Now that should come out to be approximately equal to 123.33 units squared or you can say it's 123 and one third units squared. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Let's have a look at, at the next one now. Find the next one is that's not the next one okay so this is the next one um, just be careful before you start this notice it's not um, sub intervals I've said five function values so just be careful because that means that there are four sub intervals what that means again is if you're having your table of values like you would be doing shortly it's not a very good table of values but for x and y we're starting at one we've got one two three four five okay one two three four five which means again if I've got my graph I've got five values one two three four five means I've actually got one, two, three, four sub-intervals. So you just need to be careful that you uh, use the right amount of sub-intervals or rectangles. But pause it, have a go at the question, come back, and hopefully you'll get it right. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you said H is equal to B minus A all over. Now remember, it's four sub-intervals, not five. That's five function values, which is four sub intervals okay so 3 take away 1 is 2 204 is a half and just for that usually you know if I put if you put that as 3 um, divided by 5 it can happen but it's no it's not usual okay it's not usual usually you have things like a half or or 1 but you can have point twos. Um, alright so that means we're going 1 going 1 and a half 2 2 and a half and three so that works out nicely so what I need to do now is to put these values into the calculator one cubed is going to be one 1.5 cubed is going to be uh, 27 over 8 you could put it as a decimal but I'm going to leave it as a fraction 
Um, then we've got 2 cubed, which is going to be 8. 2.5 cubed, which is going to be 125 over 8. And 3 cubed is 27. Again, you can put those as decimals because they, I think they're three decimal places, I think, um, work out. But anyway, we're going to apply it to our rule. So it's h over 3 times the first plus the last times 4 times the odds, which is these two. So 27 over 8 plus 125 over 8 plus 2 times the evens. There's only one even number there. Okay, there's only one other value. Sometimes there's none. That's the other thing. Sometimes you might just have two odds. I mean, an odd and an even. Or you might just have one odd. That's it. Um, so you just be careful. Sometimes you might have one value for each. You might only have one for the odds. You know, just be careful. Um, but then again, yeah, chuck in your calculator and get the answer. Which actually comes out to be really nice. 20 units squared. Okay, look, that's the Simpsons rule. As I said, very similar to um, the trapezoidal rule. You know, I guess just making sure, you know, first of all, find H. Second of all, um, complete the table. And third of all, use a formula. Remember, if it's the trapezoidal rule, just use a trap rule. Um, and just to ref remember, for my trapezoidal rule, it's h over 2 times function of the first plus function of the last plus 2 times the middles. If you're looking for the Simpsons rule, what we've just done today, that's h over 3 times function of the first plus function of the last, but then it's four times the odds, and then it's two times the evens. I hope this uh, made a bit of sense, guys, because certainly the HSC, there is always a question on at least one, sometimes on both, and I think they are easy marks to get as long as you remember that formula. Have a great day.